Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome along to the vlog this morning. And I've arrived to a mystery package. And as of yesterday's vlog, I told you that I took the old queen out to get a, a phone and we come across this, the Doro 8035. And it is basically aimed at the over 65s market and particularly for uh, non-tech savvy individuals of which that category my mother firmly falls into. So we're gonna charge this up for her today, take it round later on, I'll run her through it. But wow, she'll have access to the internet which she probably won't use, but it gives me peace of mind. But uh, I'm absolutely uh, over the moon that a company has had the initiative to make a smartphone with such a simple user interface. Well done, Doro. Anyway, let's move on to this mystery package. Um, I just need to pause for a moment and go and get my knife. Here we go. So I do have a few things on order, but not from the Bath Haas group, which is where this is from. So unless they've recycled the box, which is probably what's happened, then I don't really know what's in here. Wouldn't it be nice, folks, if they'd sent me a load of free hops? Oh, I'd be over the moon with that. Oh my god! <laughs> Da, 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 da. Well, I kind of already know where this is from now because there's only one individual sending us Tato's. Oh, yes. So let's get into the card. So this is to Harry, Stuart, Gemma, and Froggy. Yeah, I knew it. To Harry, Gemma, Stuart and Froggy, thank you so much for your warmth and hospitality during our visit. We had a brilliant time with you all. Please find enclosed some Irish beer and snacks for Harry and Stuart, some gin for Gemma, a one-off bottle of our local whiskey for Froggy. E, I know, will absolutely love that. And then some of that Bolly, uh, <laughs> Bally Malo relish that Aidan promised you. Can't wait to come back again. Best wishes, Aidan and Fiona. Oh, you didn't have to. But thank you very much, everybody. So uh, I'll make sure that all of these are correctly distributed. You kind of want to know what's in the box, don't you? Go on then. So, Kato occasions. If Stuart thinks he's going to see any of these. He's got another thing coming. Uh, Keogs, I believe I'm saying this right. Cheese and onion Christmas crisps. Some Tato Ranchers. All new to me. Oh, here's a wonderful box of gin for Gemma. Thank you. Look at that, she's gonna love that. So we'll put that to one side for Gemmy Bobs. And uh, this might be some beers. For me and Stewie. Let's have a look. I'm saving all these Irish carrier bags as well, you know, I've got the other ones down there. Oh, this is the uh, the relish. So, I had this on the crisps that uh, Aidan and Fiona sent last time. And we were talking about Henderson's relish and that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm going to be using that for sure. In fact, I've got some strong Irish mature cheddar in the fridge. I think it's Irish and uh, I've got a loaf of bread over here so I might have some cheese on toast with a little bit of this for uh, my lunch cheeky monkey this is the special one-off for froggy oh lids fell off ah oh, they've packed it in there as well just to be sure and uh, well there we go a triconal single malt triconal Ty, Ty Connell, the ty, uh, yeah, that word. Um, double distilled single malt Irish whiskey. 
I'm sure he will be absolutely delighted with that and I'll give it to him before I put this video up of course so we can hopefully get him in the shot and then oh yes I've missed anything out here some more of these beautiful luxury chocolates in my opinion thank you very much some more crispos potato waffles <laughs> you can't say that without doing it in the bird's eye uh, advert accent though can you but it's that potato waffle oh I'm over the moon can you tell I get really excited about crisps I know I shouldn't some hunky dories they look nice these are marketed well including the rugby look uh, buffalo potato chips oh that's a real pile of crisps as well that's not gonna last two minutes actually and then what beers have we got? I know everybody's going to be really intrigued and interested in what beers we have. So let's kind of get in a little bit and have a look. So a Kinnegar, Brewers at Play, One, Trouble Brewing, Trouble in Paradise, Coconut Orange Porter. Well, the Coconut Porter that they sent over last time was absolutely outstanding. So if that's anything to go by, that one will also be top of the shop. Larkins Brewing Company, completely new one to me. Curious Society Pilsner, dry hopped edition. Interesting, what was the ABV of that beer as well? 6.5, 7.5. And the artwork on these are fantastic. Uh, Secret Passion, Peach and Passion Fruit Pale Ale, 6.5% ABV by uh, Bally Kill Cavern. You, we have been farming at Bally Kill Cavern since 1639 oh, right that's interesting isn't it Irish craft beer so another one for the uh, did I have that in short I hope so there's another interesting beer um, let's have a look full Irish well when Tom and I went to Edinburgh the other month we did love a full Scottish breakfast in fact so much he took us back there for a second time and indeed we had it twice so uh, this is a single malt IPA uh, coming in at 6% and then two more let's have a look what we've got Hope Hop On Session IPA and this is a juicy hazy tropical 4.3% um, oh I like that label I might have to do a little bit of cribbing on that label we'll see and then Last but certainly not least, haha, <laughs> the Porterhouse Brewing Company. There used to be a nightclub in Retford called the Porterhouse a long time ago. And this is Slurposaurus Gargantuan Tropical IPA at 5.3. And that, folks, is all she wrote. So I think what I'll probably do is just uh, hang on to get the reactions of Froggy and Gemma. And we'll put this video up separately. Right, now I must crack on with the daily vlog. We'll see you on the next one.